to know what the loyalists are planning if we're to put an end to this i've tried but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now only to await orders from above keep digging come find me when you have something worth sharing mm, we're so close to victory a few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown what do you intend well nothing at the moment since we're completely in the dark i thought the templars had eyes and ears everywhere oh we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor, will help here. Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them.
bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. You said the same, it must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them, why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And waste precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fight first. We'd be in your death. These two chase us and beat us when they can. 
You can draw them away. If you could spare a fight first, we'd be in your death, sir. Anything you can offer us. Be just for begging.
should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence! Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft? that by calling me son, I might change my mind. How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you.
to flee. Your life's at an end. I'll enjoy this, I will. should make sure the village is safe. Radun Hagedu Za Shewe Nekti Ohnu Jera What Ganu Dunyu Hue Dogati Ga Oya Rungwe Ayazene Sege Unka Giga Oya Rungwe De Ohne Gujes Charles Lee Luana Dukwa Yasagoya Dahawe Ganot Dogu Dano Dokarat Ni Hardi Nahoda Got Nuwe Nihonenu What De Sagodi Dashtana Tini Hardi Ayun Kim Hunta Yeah, yeah, that's very hard. On a journey, there's a new hard. Yeah, going to have to do hunting in a giga. Ne, I have got a deal. On a day, I start on it. The don't do hunting the kids.
Charles Lee. What triot de hona de honzonia yun kia onto? Dono gan easy a say ena what is it? A toga tigarungwe. Haru zi tizak ni gora denyu. Zi asa de ni anda de skot ni gora gani. Nek zi ona gan rune de. Zi yun guan hugar rune de. Kute gat ni oska aki. Gwa nek di yun guan ni oska an zi wak guan ya heze ne asgwe at danu statsege. Dan yun zak ni gora di hanto. Danu wak dizu wak daksa de ne zungwe da sumha. Za dorissa. Unka dorissa an ona za he yun. Ja, Tena, das ist ein Tanzen. Sie können doch jetzt da ne. Redun hagedum. Charles Lee, Mountmouth, was da der Hajib? Asa ko na dumase, zina hold ng patriot, wala dito yung uni. Jura sa ga, asa ko na sete. On dog tangi ka mo derio, lono dio ha hot ko niyo. Unga nungo ita summa, oh dia tanum sta tungo. Iwe le ya na wando tayong ko ya tanum sta tungo. Ona wasa derisa yung jataro. Position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push, Connor, my friend, you have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance, and then rises. I am left to pick up the pieces. I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami.
up yet? We are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. 
And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. father on the upper levels. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. my father. <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. Be far. Where the hell is he? <laughs> Sorry, but I just don't know where he is. Oh. That's okay. I do.
Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now! Inya is too stuck, Robota! Yet! Get out! What the hell was that? What the hell is going on down there?
Medic's office is up ahead. You. So fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. 